The Perfect World of Media, Film and Television. Hello, it's me, it's Craig, and I've got a little bit of hair sticking up here. Because I need to go to bed, and I've I've got bed hair. Um, I know you usually get bed hair after you've gone to bed, but I've got, I get it before I go to bed. Um, hello, how are you? Hope you're well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, so there's some, you know, it's kind of breaking news-ish. Uh, but I'm going to share it anyway about the new Indiana Jones film, which I think is number five, I want to say. Um, but the film is, um, I did make a video a few days back uh, talking about the fact that they were filming at Bamber Castle in Northumbria, I think it is, Northumberland, uh, in northeast England. And I believe that has now completed. They've finished filming there. Harrison Ford was there on the ground, running around with his floppy hat on. Uh, and I do have some photographs from that, uh, which potentially could give some spoilers. So beware and um, don't watch if you don't like spoilers for films. Because uh, there will be some spoilers here. Now, I don't know the plot. I don't know the script. I don't know anything about it apart from the pictures that have become available. The other thing that has happened in the last few days is that there ha has been leaked. Not only these pictures, which were leaked today, but uh, or a couple of days ago, uh, there's there's been the leak of the title of the film. Now, a lot of people are debunking this already, saying, no, that's not the title. But let's, uh, let's get into it. And uh, as I say, spoilers warning. Uh, uh, yeah, let's have a look. So this is Bamber Castle, and I strongly recommend if ever you come to the fair island of the United Kingdom, you pop up here. I've filmed here before. Uh, we flew some drones over it, uh, and I was doing a, a I was doing a, um, a property show for one of the, for Channel Four, I think, here in the UK. Uh, we parked in that car park over there. So this is the castle. This is where they they have been filming. And um, we do seem to have some pictures. Um, what do I do? Shall I show you the title first? Let, let me let, let let me not steal the limelight from these guys because this is where I learned about the title. Although I think it's been out before they found it. This is um, a, like a podcast live stream called Friday Night Tights. Um, this is Gary who sort of runs it. Uh, he thinks he also runs it. Oh, good, it's cut his head off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this guy. Don't like that guy either. Don't like that guy. <laughs> Everyone else is fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Gary's going to... After Gary, Gary does like a long intro into telling... He's saying, oh, look, I've got a massive exclusive for everybody. But he eventually gets around to it. But it's what he says about the source that's interesting. So uh, what he's going to show you is actually um, this here. Um, it's going to be uh, this here is what he's going to show you. He's going to show you this picture, uh, which is uh, a suppos supposedly a leaked picture from some sort of presentation. Uh, it says Disney, Indiana Jones, and the Empire of Evil. I'm not entirely convinced it would say Disney on there. I think it would say Lucasfilm, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. They do tend to stick Disney on top of everything now, don't they? Uh, one of the rumors is that that is a picture of J.J. Abrams, who doesn't work on Indiana Jones, I don't believe. Um, Empire of Evil, completely acceptable title, maybe a little bit cliched. Um, but there's also some pictures here, and this is just the same picture repeated twice. And in it you can see uh, lots of little Nazi references. Um, now, if you weren't aware, um, the, uh, the Nazis were, uh, or Himmler at least, was obsessed with the occult. How do I know that? Well... I made a documentary, uh, amazingly, coincidentally, uh, about this. A 16-minute documentary for Discovery about the Nazis and the occult. We went to Wevelsburg Castle in Germany. And uh, if you ever get a chance, go to it. In Wevelsburg Castle, there is a big round room with pillars all around the side. And then in the center, it's got the Black Sun and the SS logos everywhere, icons everywhere. And then if you go down into the crypt, yeah, that's apparently where the generals would sit, the SS generals would sit. And you would be given your SS ring and you'd be initiated into the SS. It was all very weird. It's all very occulty. And, and they still have um, lots of Nazi branding everywhere uh, swastika uh, which have been shot off people have been trying to shoot them so there's bullet holes everywhere it's fascinating uh, historic thing to visit 
Um, but let's um, let's get back into seeing what Friday Night Tights had to say about this. If I can just bring them up. Um, and we'll sort of see what they say. So the movie is called Indiana Jones and the Evil Empire. No, the Empire of Evil. Empire of Evil, sorry. Oh, or God. Evil Empire. Or Empire of Evil, thank you. <laughs> and, it, and it features uh, Die Glock. Die Glock, which is basically the uh, German, uh, the, the it's Yachty. Actually. It's a UFO. If it's got an, basically it's the oh, DIE. Yeah, it's, it's the Nazi time travel bell yeah. or something like that. Yes, so, yes. It, that, uh, if, you, if, you didn't think it was, if you didn't think it was legit, uh, this is, I, I feel like this is pretty good. So this is the first time that people have seen this, although this was pulled up off Reddit. Um, I'm just pausing it just because I, I don't want to get copyright struck. But um, there's the picture I've just shown you. Uh, let's Proof, see what they say about it. So they seem very convinced but, uh, about the source. The the pictures are from a, a pretty reliable source. Yeah, um, like very, yes. very, 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 <laughs> very reliable source. I can, I can, a hundred percent, thousand percent back just, it up. Did Ryan just say that? I, I'm just being honest. He's, he, he, he actually didn't mean it. I, <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't mean it like y'all think I mean it. I, I, so I don't give I, a fuck. I, I got the picture Pardon long before French. they really hit the internet, and I just did not do anything until. Well, they this started this source, out, we, so. can t- we can we uh, can someday talk about the source. Like after the yes. movie comes out, after right. the movie comes out, we can tell you. We can- right. So I don't know, but these guys seem to have some sort of links into people who work in the uh, the, the comic book world and the uh, the film world. Uh, although they keep telling us they won't say who they are, of course. That, but they've got links to these people, and they, they seem very fairly convinced that this is legit. I'm not entirely convinced that this is legit. Um, it's just too easy to fake, and it looks kind of fake to me. Although the reason I mentioned Bevelsburg Castle is the the background picture does look very Bevelsburg Castle-y. Um, if you're not familiar with the stories of um, the Nazis and the occult, there was a guy called Otto Rahn, um, R-A-H-N, and he was um, supposedly hired... Uh, by Himmler to go relic hunting and find the the, the Ark of the Covenant, um, and uh, all these like ancient like, religious relics was he was tasked to go and find them. Uh, he wasn't a great fan of um, of the Nazis, and uh, he left. He left the SS, and you know, that's something you're not supposed to do. So he was kind of hunted down, um, and he was found frozen to death. Um, ran uh, the Gestapo were after him, and he was offered the. Um, he vanished on the thirtieth of March, nineteen thirty nine. Nearly, uh, ran was found frozen to death on a mountainside near Saul in Austria. His death was officially ruled as suicide. So um, that's what happened to that chap. So there was definitely a, a hunting of relics. Um, there was a lot of occult stuff and all these stories about UFOs and Nazis. I've been going on. It's all conspiracy theory stuff to me. Uh, my experience of hunting this stuff down and speaking to experts, I just thought everyone was barring me. <laughs> so the documentary, uh, which is difficult when you're making a documentary to not believe a word anyone's telling you. But uh, I did. When I started, I set out, I was like, oh, this is true. This is all true, this stuff. And then after I actually quizzed them and interviewed people, I was like, oh, okay, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so um, the Glock is um, the the bell that he's just referenced. So now, this is the... Um, sorry, I keep jumping away just to keep it nice and neat and tidy. The, this is the Reddit post uh, where these pictures were kind of revealed. The Friday Night, Friday Night Tights team say that well, we had them long before Reddit. Fair enough. Um, bit boastful, but there you are. But somebody's already sort of posted this debunk thing here, and these links lead you to this. This is a model. This is from Turbo Squid. It's a model you can get for one of the um, one of the uh, spaceships that you can see in the photographs. There you go. That spaceship's there. You can see that's that one there. And then there's this model here from TurboSquid, which is, a, say, a 3D modeling website where you can get download models and make them. That image there is featured in the in the picture. Oops, where is it? Um, there. And then you've got the big one, the... The, the D Glock, it's not die Glock, it's D Glock. When the E is last, it's pronounced E, D Glock. Um, and that's the bell. 
uh, which is in obviously there in the top corner. But then again, if you're doing theme boards, that's what you would do. You would just grab any sort of image sources. It's only for sharing with your team. So it's not for publication. So you, that's the sort of thing you would do when you're creating a mood board. Um, so uh, it's not un, it's not unlikely. All these swirls and stuff, it c could be something to do with time travel. Um, but uh, we did hear from, um, if I just uh, open up this um, and share it with you. We did get a tweet. Here's Kevin Richards uh, um, tweeting the director of the film. Uh, hey, man, mangled. Uh, when will the title of Indiana Jones 5 be officially revealed? Earlier today, I saw a leak on YouTube that the title is Indiana Jones and the Empire of Evil. Is that true or no? False. Title will come later, Kevin. Be well. False is written in capital letters with an exclamation point, which makes me think, hmm, almost angry. Um, but there you go. So if, if, if it was the title, they'll probably change it. Um, so here we go back at uh, the castle. But this time, look. We have a vehicle in the foreground. Why is there a vehicle in the foreground? It's no war vehicle. What's going on? Well, there's our hero standing in the grass uh, at the foot of the castle. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that actor. Oh, I've totally forgotten his name. He was in The Detectorists. Oh, you'll know his name. Oh, that's so annoying. I like him very much. He's a small man. But look how um, look how our man's looking. There's his whip, his floppy hat. If I was working on that set, I'd have my eye on those props. I'd be like, ooh, well, I want that. I would mind that. Uh, he's looking a bit worse for wear, sweaty. And, um, yeah, he looks soaking wet, to be honest. Uh, it's been very grey and overcast here, so maybe it's uh, something to do with that. And he looks quite beaten up. So it's kind of interesting. What's It, lo it also looks like they may... He, they may be working together. Uh, he always plays like a, a, a like a German baddie, doesn't he? And what's he got in his hands there? The bullets or something? Uh, <laughs> little tissue. Everyone's wearing their masks. Everyone's been very well behaved wearing their masks. I think they kind of have to wear the masks because production could potentially be shut down if you don't. Um. Oh, look at his hat there. Not looking too good at all. And splatterings of blood on his face, I think. Uh, here's just another shot of the camera equipment. Enterprise rental van on the road there next to some mountains. See the camera mounted top of the vehicle there. Um, here's a camera whizzing along, mountains in the background. These are probably like the, who knows what they are, but I'd imagine they are the next... Uh, flurry of baddies that he has to get past before he meets the mini boss and here's another shot of them looking very cool modern day clothes interestingly so i uh, don't know what's going on with the time references here although the bikes look to be a little bit modern don't they with these like front lights and whatnot the bikes look futuristic uh, and here's like uh, some extras probably very bored very generic darkened faces this was quite an interesting shot it got me thinking because not only does it have a, a camera filming from the front but this also seems to be a camera fit to the back which is probably filming this bike so i don't know whether they're trying to kill two birds with one stone but i thought that was pretty interesting and then this is other, uh, again it's interesting because you can see they're tending to the camera at the back but what's interesting is that these two guys this vehicle seems to be attached to the car doesn't it and these are dummies sitting in the seats there the wheel seems to be bent on the front of it everyone wearing masks on their best behavior this guy's got a green cap which is interesting don't know don't know about these gas tanks been shoved into the back of this vehicle health and safety and here we have like a nice amazing night scene i don't know what's going on here but use of smoke and look at these amazing countryside um fire truck there again we've got this um bike with a sidecar lots going on with that oh there's the green cap guy looking like he belongs in star wars more than anything 
Uh, and that's kind of the end of my little presentation, which is uh, just interesting, I thought, to see those pictures of them in production and what they're doing. Um, very interested to know what you think. And I would love to know if, if this is all nonsense, uh, the title of the film. Is it Empire of Evil? Director says no. Internet says yes. Friday Night Tights, Tights say they've got a fantastic source and they know for sure it's absolutely correct. Who knows? Interesting stuff, isn't it? Interesting days. So we shall see, I'm sure, and find out. Uh, you know, before long, we shall find out. Thanks for watching. If you please do like, uh, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Uh, find me on Twitter. I'm at flooded. But for me, from now, uh, cheerio. <laughs>